Hey, you guys. Today I'm going to do a video. Shout out to the Fresh Collectors. Um, they did a video and I was like, you know, I made myself an honorary member. So I'm going to get on the bandwagon with this topic. And it's about um, Black Women in Reality TV and how I feel on Black Women in Reality TV. Um, the positive thing is Black women are getting jobs. So I, I give you all props to that. You ain't sitting at home collecting food stamps. And I mean, ain't no wrong with no food stamps. I'm just saying because that shit comes in handy when you ain't got nothing. I love my family. That's I'm just saying. Um, but you ain't out there living off of other people. So shout out to the black women that's getting jobs in reality TV. That's first and foremost. Um, but when you get these jobs, you're not utilizing them in the best light. That's my whole problem with it. Um, now, don't get me wrong. I'm all for the drama that be on reality TV because it's entertainment for me because I don't deal with these type of women. I don't, you know, I know some women that act like these women, but I don't deal with them on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is entertainment for me. Um, but I feel like, there is so many more, there's a lot of positive women that's black on TV that we don't give the chance. We don't promote those type of shows. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't promote, like, um, Kim Whitley's show on, on her reality show. And it's a positive show. You know, it have a little drama in there. It have a little baby daddy drama, but it's not the same baby daddy drama that we have from Scrappy and Erica. Um, but it has this drama. It doesn't have no fighting. But we don't promote stuff like that. Then I think it's sometimes the times and days that, um, you know, have those types of shows on. A lot of black people don't be in the house or, you know, the popular shows are winning over them because we don't get the promotion like that. If you don't have own, you don't get, you don't see the promotion for them type of shows like Sweetie Pies and stuff like that. And like I said, Sweetie Pies have drama. It just don't be like unnecessary as drama. Um, the Real Housewives of Atlanta, they have unnecessary drama. So they stuff is about tearing women down and that's what it shouldn't be. Um, it, it do. It be really unnecessary drama and always tearing women down, not supporting other women, thinking you're better than other people. That's what a lot of that portrays. And that's not real life. That's not the black women I hang around. I like to hang around positive women that's trying to uplift people. So that's why I have a problem with that. Even though we watch it, we do watch it. But it, 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 it's starting to get out of hand. As the years go on, it's starting to get out of hand. Love and hip hop. The problems that I have, yes, we all go through these things. Some women go through the men's issues. I don't. Not one story on here I can relate to on love and hip hop. Not one story. And I thank God for me being raised by a strong black woman to let me know that you don't have to deal with certain certain things, but I don't relate to none of these women. I watch it for the entertainment and the laughs, but I can't, I don't relate to Jocelyn and Stevie J. I ain't never been a stripper. I ain't never fucked with no producers like that, so um, I can't relate. Kalina and um, Tony. I, I can't relate to my man taking all our life savings on some dreams. I'm just saying. Rashida and Kurt, ain't no fucking way. No way. Uh-uh. Not the disrespect of my mama. Not the blood test. Not, <laughs> not the taking the money from me. Not helping me with my dreams. Hell no. So I can't relate. Um, Eric and Scrappy. Me and my child's father, because I don't say baby daddy, because that's some bullshit. Me and my oldest child's father, we too mature to act like this. We know it's a bigger picture than to be acting ratchet and ghetto and arguing and fighting, knowing we have a son together, and that child is going to see us and be able, you know, 
to bring that to us when they get older. You know what I'm saying? I, I, my son can't come and play me and his dad against each other because we know how to talk and communicate with stuff like that. The whole thing with the child support, no. I don't pick men that don't want to take care of their child because we ain't fucking around. So, no. I don't deal with stuff like that. I'm not saying that's what Starkey is doing, but you know what I'm saying? That's what be portrayed on TV. So I don't deal with stuff like that. Um, Mimi, I ain't fucking on a car, sh- uh, car, uh, shower ride, especially to a motherfucker I ain't married to. Um, I ain't gonna say I ain't never fucking on a shower ride. I'm just saying we ain't had to shower ride. That shit ain't stable. Um, but yeah, I, I, so I can't relate to these women. Loving, I mean, basketball-wise, I can't relate to them. I ain't married to no basketball player. I don't go to a basketball game, so I can't relate. But my problem is with these women is they put on facades for younger women. They know young girls watch these shows. And they put on these facades of you got to get ass injections. You got to get fake titties after the first season. You got to have the longest weed. And that is not real. That's not real. I mean, it might be real life because that's what people are portraying these out here. So all these girls are out here getting it. But that shit is not what makes you. And that's what these reality shows are trying to portray to these young girls. That's what makes them. Oh, let me go get my boobs done. Let me go get the biggest ass. For what? I don't know. Black women are supposed to be born with asses already, so for you to be going over there to get that shit overboard, and that's my problem with it. They go get these surgeries, and they take it overboard. Overboard. That shit be so overboard, it look nasty and disgusting on all of them bitches. I'm not saying not just one of them. All of them. That shit look nasty. Um, it don't look natural. It don't look real. It don't look healthy. Mm-mm. So that's wrong. Now, I don't mind a girl getting a weed, but just let these girls know that these weeds cost half, the, you know, cost more than your light bill. I'm just saying. I'm not going to say y'all rent because I don't know how much nobody rent is. But I know most of these, these weeds that these bitches is rocking now is half a mile rent. I'm just saying. Um, but it's not, it's not a good look when that's what little girls is watching and what we they think what black girls are so and we know it's supposed to be reality but it's not it's not reality it's not showing the young girls to be positive to love they self to want better for themselves to not deal with unnecessary drama to not be having a fight for stupid stuff and i'm all for a fight i don't have a problem with a person fighting but I want you to fight for a cause. That's what I want you to do. I want you to, if you have to defend yourself, by all means. You know what I'm saying? But to just be out here starting unnecessary fights, throwing glasses at each other, um, all that, that's unnecessary. That's unnecessary. Um, that's not some shit I want my daughter to emulate and say, oh, that's what I want to be like. I, mm-mm, no, I, we need, even with the shows that show women that being entrepreneurs, like, um, the Hills one on Bravo, I don't remember shit, because I barely watch it, but them women is all, all like business women, but they so fucking catty, and so want to gossip, Instead of shutting the gossip down and saying, look, I just don't deal with that person. Let's not talk about that person. Don't we got something better else to talk about? But no. And I'm not saying I don't gossip. Because my sister called me with shit all the damn time. And I'd be like, oh, for real? Like, damn. Because I don't go out there. I don't be in people's business. So if I, if it's some gossip, it's something brought to me because I don't go outside. I don't deal with people. That ain't my thing. Um. But it's people that call me and be like, well, they try to tell me they problems and then somehow somebody else's name always come up from this thing. Um, so yeah, that's how I be brought in gossip, but I don't engage in it where I'm talking bad or trying to bash the other person. If I do engage in the gossip conversation, I always try to see the positive and be like, 
she don't need to go through that shit, or why the fuck is she going through that, or why is he dealing with that, that type of shit. But I don't just be like, oh, because they're a stupid bitch, fuck them, I don't fuck with them, no. If I do say that, I really don't fuck with them, period, point blank. But <laughs> it's just unnecessary, and like I say, we just need, when we do get these shows with black women in reality TV, we just need to get, promote the positive one, and not always promote the negative one, or if we are going to do the negative reality shows, try to find the positive in it, um, that's what I try to do, I try to look at all sides and stuff like that, but, like I said, I'm not going to stop watching it because it's entertainment for me, it's laughs for me, I don't tangle people like that, so it just be funny, and I'll be tripping off how do people act like that when they get a certain age, and I pray I don't act like that when I get their age, you know what I'm saying? But we 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 just need to do better, and you know, for the future girls that's trying to go out for reality TV, it's not a problem to be on reality TV. Just don't give them the ratchetness. Give them the... I'm a boss bitch, I run my company, I don't deal with bullshit, um, I don't deal with uh, stupid ass relationships, I will root for a woman like that, I will so root for her like that, I promise you I would, I was rooting for Candy with all her businesses, but what I won't root for is her playing sides, you know what I'm saying, I, I won't root for that. I won't root for her letting her family walk all over her, but I root for her as far as being a businesswoman, always keeping her name out there, doing stuff. Even with Nene, I root for her as a businesswoman, but as her as a woman? No, because she's a bully. She thinks she's better than people, stuff like that. Kenya, I root for her as a businesswoman, but I don't root for her as far as being petty or stuff like that, but that was, the, to me, that was the Kenya first, and maybe the beginning of second season, but Kenya, to me, now, this, I mean, well, her first second season, but now this season, I didn't look at Kenya like that, I looked at Kenya as a businesswoman that was trying to fix things, but she still threw a little shade, and that's all with all women, but I looked at her a little differently as far as a businesswoman this season. And I didn't look at her as far as a hoe and this and that. No, I don't look at none of them as a, as being hoes. I, you know, someone be having whole like behavior. But um, I don't look at them as hoes and bitches and stuff like that. I just feel like, like I said, they have bitch tendencies. They act like bitches sometimes. But I don't think they are a bitch. Um, but, like I said, when you get on these reality TV shows, ladies, just think about what you are portraying and who is watching you. Because <laughs> most times, people that's over, like, 35, you know, I'm an exception, you know, for watching this stuff, because we bloggers. But um, most times, women over 35 ain't even watching these shows. It's a lot of your audience is girls that's 14 through 18 and, you know, some 22-year-olds that ain't in clubs in the streets, I'm just saying, or working on a college degree. But a lot of times your audience are these young girls that are impressionable. So you have to watch what you do, watch what you put out there um, and stuff like that. That's how I feel about black women in reality TV. I hope you got something from this video, um, like, share, comment, like I said, shout out to the Fresh Collective, make sure if you see the Fresh Collective, hashtag the Fresh Collective, or hashtag, um, I think it's FC fam, the Fresh Collective fam, um, if you see them hashtags, make sure you share them, um, shout out to C Mentor, St. John Bradley, James Caldwell, Tam G, um, Erica De Niro Kelly, I'm trying to think of everybody, Smoke Break 314, Lady Nika, D. Miss, um, if I forgot, Gregory Hemphill, I'm trying to think of most of the people that's in the Fresh Collective, 
Rose. And that's like I said, if I forgot your name, I apologize right now. But I don't have a list in front of me, so I'm just going off the top of my dome. Um, but yeah, shout out to you guys because talking about this stuff and doing a positive movement, I'm so here for I so support. Y'all know me, I feel like support is everything, so why not jump on a bandwagon and support, support, support. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, Xbox Live, Snapchat, everything I do, social media is about to get up, U-T-H-A, not T-H-E, and I will talk to you guys in